And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, today we're taking a look at four more teams for Chaos Ball. These are teams five, six, seven, and eight. We have the, uh, the new Victoria Clockworks, the Salem Warlocks, the Port Royale Pirates, and the Moonshire Lycanthropes. Um, so these are four boxes in each box. You will open the box up and it will come with a tray of the miniatures for that, that box and a board for that one along with a die. You don't need these dice at all, but they're here for turn order, start play or whatever. They're cool and possibly some extra stuff. And let's see, in this set, the Warlocks have something extra in their box. These, these four are some of my favorite teams. Let me show you why. First we have the Warlocks, who are my third favorite team, and the Warlocks, they have a three and two, so pretty low hit points, um, but they have the one in tackling and one in fighting, but they have the curse. They're one of the few uh, teams that actually comes with an extra token here, a frog token, and once per period, if you lose a contest, you can turn the opponent into a frog token until the end of the period. They have two life. They have no team, no ability. They cannot tackle, attack, score, or handle the ball. <laughs> I don't know. This is the ultimate <laughs> sword loser team. But it's just funny. And it makes people so afraid to fight them because they don't want to, they don't, and they certainly don't come up and attack you with their best stuff, with their best ringers. Because, you know, they don't want to lose them. They don't want them turned into a frog because you turn them into a frog and then you wail on them. They also have a really cool model here. I really like how this, well this guy here who's apparently holding a couple fireballs, although the model looks like he's holding globes, but this guy here, I really like how they model this so he's really just going after someone, really, you know, he's shooting a fireball, but we've also made him throttle people and, you know, choke people and tackle people. It's just a figure that I like quite a bit. And here's my second favorite team, the Pirates, who seem to be coincidentally yellow and black. Eh. Anyhow, they got three and three health, which is great. And their stats are great, two, one, and one. With that, what more do you need? Well, they have looting. Every time they win a contest, they get another gold. Now, I think they're not worth using if you're just playing the basic game, but you should be playing the basic game anyway. Um, but because... During the, the beginning of the round, when you're buying special abilities and ringers, I spent all my money every time with the pirates because every time you, you win a contest, you get a cash. You'll win some contests, especially with these stats over the course of the game, which means you can play all the cheating cards you want. Really cool. And I also like their models a lot. The, the runner's okay, um, but the, I really enjoy the bruiser with the cape and has the little something on his shoulder. Is that a pirate? No, that's his ponytail. <laughs> well, there goes that idea. But anyway, I really like these models. They're really cool models. And it's, just, it's a fun faction to play. And one of the ones I've seen played the most. And of course, we have to have a steampunk faction in here. Now for me, out of the factions, this is the Clockworks are my number 11 faction. But they have this overload ability. Now, their, their stats, they have three and two, and they got one in handling and one in fighting. But before they start a contest, they can overload. And any card that has a star on it, those ones that you can double, are double. But they can double without having to play it. So the problem is if they win it, they take a damage. But still, the fact that they can declare that any time is a neat ability. So hooray for the, the clockwork people. Um, they have some cool models here, too. Of course, I, I think I'm just repeating myself when I say this cool model thing. But here you can see uh, they're basically just pointing guns around and overloading these old-timey guns. So here's the guy in the top hat and his uh, courtly companion. And here is my favorite team, the Lycanthropes, or as everyone calls them, the Werewolves. And the werewolves are great because their special ability, I mean, they have three in, uh, hit points and two hit points and one handling and one tackling. They're not even that great at fighting. The fact, though, is, is their special ability is the shape-shifting ability, which says before I activate a figure, I can switch him to a runner. Before I activate a runner, 
I can switch him to a werewolf. That is absolutely fantastic. Not to mention really cool special abilities. This guy has that whole mad scientist thing going on. Ha 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 with the model. And then this guy here is a werewolf. Love these guys. Love the ability to switch. Gives you so much versatility. Ugh, just a great team all around. Well, there you go. Three of my favorite teams were in that mix of four. I, again, know that just because I like them doesn't mean everyone else will. Maybe not everyone will like the werewolf. So like, well, switching back and forth isn't much of a special ability. Well, to me it is. Turning someone to a frog, yeah, <laughs> I like that. And again, I just like to reiterate how I think it's so neat that there's so many teams here and they're really not that differentiated from each other except that special ability can make all the difference in the world. Or you can just pick a team based on how much you like it. I'm, I'm sure the steampunk team is going to be very popular. People, the clockworks are going to do well because people like steampunk. But werewolves, come on, man. Come on. Ah, more great teams. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door! Yeah.